Hey everyone, welcome to Wednesday Comics, The, the Gauntlet. Gauntlet. I'm Garrett. I'm Alex. And we're here today to tell you about our six gems each, our six books we're looking forward to for uh, January 17th, 17th 2018. It's the third week already. It's, it's going by week. quick. So we'll start with Alex. He's going to go over six picks that he has for this week. So my first pick is The uh, Further Ventures of Nick Wilson. Uh, the guys talked me into it last night, actually, listening to him on the forecast. I was like, you know what? They're yeah. going to get it. I'll give it a try. It's starting out, it's like a retired superhero who's trying to figure out what to do next with his Because he lost his powers, right? I'm not sure about okay. that. I don't so, really... Marvin told us. We weren't listening. What do you know? Uh, Batman, number 39. This is the third part of... Um, Super Friends. Super Friends. I tell you what, I'm excited. This cover is great. Yes, uh, I'm excited to have a book with Wonder Woman that's actually good. That art inside, just looking at the first page, looks great. Marvin's talking to us and he's fucking it's covering my face. Joel Jones, right? Oh, yes. Joel uh, Jones. Can't wait I for that. King Jones, Bel Air. This book is going to be great. Uh, we've got The Mighty, Four, Mighty Thor. Mighty Thor. Mighty Thor. <laughs> Number 703. Uh, we're continuing with what's the bad guy's name? Mo. Uh, Magog. Magog. Uh, kicking the shit out of the Thors and everybody else in Asgard. Uh, I'm ready to see some action. Looks like they're all going to team up when usually they're on different sides and whatnot. We've got uh, Killer Be Killed number, I don't even know, 15. Uh, look at this. this. I tell you what, this is one of my favorite covers. Start uh, of arc number four. four we think. Yeah. Um, we saw what the, the end up was last was the demon turning around. Yep. And and in Kira's face. So Kira turns around and she has the demon's head over Now we're going to find out if he's crazy or not. And we know he is. We do at least. Yeah. Uh, Nightwing number thirty-seven. Um, I was told that last issue might make me choke up from Marvel. Yep, absolutely. Uh, this cover by Jimenez, holy shit, balls to the wall, best cover for the week. And Klaus Jansen's doing the inside interior art, so this is definitely an issue to pick up. Oof. And it's all flashback uh, about Dick as Robin, Dick Grayson. I am, a, yeah, Dick Grayson. Dick Grayson. And we've got Rumble number two. Marvin and I are getting this book. I read the first whole series. Was good. Uh, Ruben's kicking ass on this book. Akuna, awesome. Can't wait to jump into it. All right, so for my six gems, got a couple new ones this week. Uh, starting out with Ice Cream Man number one. It's a new anthology series uh, where basically it's stories of, it's just single issue stories, but where this Ice Cream Man is going to be in the periphery, it even says in the solicit. So I might consider it kind of like it, where there's a lot of different people affected by a certain thing, and there's always one thing in the background, like Pennywise the Clown, and I'm sure that's what the Ice Cream Man is going to be sort of like. So I, I've always been wanting to get an anthology series. You might have heard it on the forecast, so does Marvin. Um, so it'd be cool to see where this series goes. Hopefully it's really good, because the, uh, the interior art and the cover itself looks great, so I'm excited to see what happens. I did get this book, Marvin. Marvin, I know. I made Alex get all the new number ones yeah. that we were going There's over. There's another today. one I got, but I knew I, knew I was getting this <laughs> yep. one. Yep. Days of Hate, number one, uh, by Alice Cott, with art by uh, whatever, a lot of different people. Um, a political book about the future of politics, and I don't know if it's necessarily, yeah, it's the United States, so, because it's called Chapter One America First. So, um, very excited to see what happens, because Alice Cott lately, like with Generation Gone, was amazing, and I great. think when he actually puts himself down to a plan, like his books are really great. So, uh, so this is a 12 issue run. I right? think Marvin, Alex, and myself are really excited for this. It's a maxi series, 12 issues, so hopefully it stays consistent. I think it's going to be one of the best books out this year. Woo woo, I'm ready for it. Bring it. Next issue, one that I'm so excited for, Superman number 39. Uh, lately we've had some crossovers in Superman. I think we're sick of that because they don't really have any point to the story. But this one is about Superman um, hanging out with kids, basically with sick kids, uh, challenged kids. Um, and giving them like probably like the like just one great day. So uh, and the art by Chris Burnham, like he did uh, Batman Incorporated. So it's nice to have him back, even if it's just for a cover. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Very excited. I mean, I don't think he's doing the interior art, but if he was, holy shit, this would be the best issues. I think I'm excited to see Superman actually just do Superman. Th it's not even him fighting crime. Hopefully, I hope it's just a good story, like issue seven was of just Superman being this amazing man that he is hanging out with these kids. And we found issues that the best issues of this Superman series since Rebirth are the ones where he's not like do it he's not part of some plot. He's basically just being Superman. He's, he's just, just doing being his Clark job. Kent. Yeah. And that's that's what I think I want. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Strange number 384, I think. Yep. Yes. Um, if you just read the last issue and you're if you're done crying or you're done like fist pumping in the air, like this is the next issue. Holy shit was last issue good. So I think this is gonna be a real treat and just keep going on that uh, uh, intensity and adrenaline that we've gotten from the last couple issues. So super excited for this. Walt is art. Yeah. Incredible as always. I mean, that's never going to change. And the story has been incredible as well. 
That's one of those books not caught up on. Uh, well, I've heard his good things from you guys. There's so a couple I'm, books that Alex got to catch up on that he's gonna cry. Like, I, I'm, I'm gonna be busy this week. Um, first of the Dark Knights uh, metal spinoffs, we got Damage Number One. Uh, we kind of talked on the forecast, and it's like Marvel in disguise. That's why I'm excited for this. This, this is about a, a, a man that once uh, once a day for an hour, he turns into this rampaging beast that can't control himself, similar to the Hulk that we all know and love. Uh, very excited for a guy that's challenged by something he can't control. So very excited for this. You got Tony Daniel on art. Um, Robert Vendetti is writing. Uh, there's some other artists in here as well. So very excited to see what this happens for this new this Dark Knight spinoff. So. Uh, last book that I'm talking about is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 23. I talked about this uh, a little bit on the forecast last night. Basically, um, or I guess the forecast is today, isn't it? Whatever. This morning. This morning. Um, and this is the team before the 90s team that we know and love uh, that we've seen on, t on television. This is about the 80s team and them dealing with when they grew up and then the torch got passed to the 90s team. Like how they interact so right now the struggle is one of the old power rangers from the 80s has made her own megazords and without using the morphing grid so it's basically someone with all that control but not being in check by like zordon it's just basically free reign to do uh world organization so she actually is a bad guy I, she's like an anti okay. anti-hero or anti-villain i'm not Doom. i'm not really sure yet she i mean this is probably the issue where we're going to find out because her uh, megazord's causing a lot of rampage and whatnot so uh very excited for this this is a book that you should jump on otherwise go go power rangers by uh Oof. what yeah dan moore and whatnot so um yeah that's right ryan parrot uh so those were my six gems and alex's six gems uh we hope you all have a good week um yeah, it's been warmer out in Sufu, yeah. so I think we were right on the forecast. It's above zero, so it's nice and comfy out. All right. Get so, out there. Yeah, I'm comic Garrett. Books, oh, sorry. Well, I was going to say, comic books did show up today at Rainbow. They so did. There was no delay. Come and get them. That's right. So, I'm Garrett. I'm Alex. This has been Wednesday Comics, The, the Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Hey, everyone, keep collecting those gems.